guys. Um, I'm uh, here in a uh, screencast of uh, Mint Linux uh, right now, and we're going to be taking a look at a program on Linux called uh, Teleco. Now, um, I use Teleco to keep track of all my guitar pedals, and there's a, a picture right there of uh, all my guitar pedals. Um, I collect, build, and modify guitar pedals uh, to resell. And uh, I've probably got about 7 or 80 of them. And to really to keep track of all that, I can't remember which ones I modified and for what and how much I originally paid for it before I sell it. So um, I finally found a good Linux program that will do that. And I haven't necessarily seen any uh, thing similar in Windows or on uh, the Mac. Uh, not saying that one exi doesn't exist for those. And... Uh, let me go ahead and open it up for you. And uh, okay, um, basically, Teleco is just a uh, giant database, and originally it was made for uh, a book collection, but it's very easy modified to apply it to nearly anything. Uh, if you collect stuff, um, could be baseball cards or whatever. And um, we're going to go ahead and select one and show you what it looks like. And uh, I'm going to click on the one that says Roland. I got 46 pedals right there, which is basically um, boss pedals. And just uh, select one right there. And if you look here on the lower right hand side, what I've done is actually take pictures either the one that I took myself or on the internet. And uh, I also copied the description of the pedal and put it in the uh, remarks section here at the very bottom. And basically that's how I keep track of everything. Uh, and if you look up here uh, where it says modify, there's a check mark. So I did um, uh, do a modification, uh, either add or subtract um, electronic components. And I'm clicking resell because I want to sell some of these I also keep. Now each guitar pedal actually has a serial number inside of it um, by the manufacturer. And that's how I uh, can keep track of it. So I can just pull any pedal I have in my collection, look at the uh, the number. And uh, in this case, it's uh, TW19617 right here. And uh, also what I, I purchased it for. Uh, in this case, it was $56 because when I modify it, then I I usually try to buy them used and, and cheap at a cheaper price. So when I modify it, it will put it at a normal, uh, normally new price because if I try to modify brand new ones, then in most cases it may put it, you know, a lot of people may not want to um, pay that much for it. And... Uh, and so basically I can go to any pedal right here and as you can see I'll scroll through some of them. And uh, so that's kind of how I keep track of with Ted you without this database I you know I could never uh never remember um the prices uh and everything else. So go check it out if you have a collection of your uh, own whether it be guitar pedals, comic book collection or whatever. Uh, very good way of keep, keeping track for the database. So uh, check it out for yourself.